mathematics is a very difficult major. And in my experience, more often than not, people who are math majors tend to sometimes switch to other fields like computer science or engineering. And I think it's more rare for someone in another science to go to math. And for a couple of reasons, right? One, a degree in computer science has more opportunity than a degree in mathematics. A degree in engineering you know, has more opportunity. You can get a better job making more money right away with a four-year degree in computer science than you can with a degree in math. Now, that's not to say you can't get a good job with a degree in math. You could certainly get a four-year degree in math and get a really high-paying job at a bank or something. But in general, these degrees, like computer science, engineering, they tend to have a more practical side. You can get a job easier in the world today. So I got an email from a subscriber recently, and his email reminds me of my story. And I thought maybe this can help people here on the channel. So it's been a while since I've answered some of these emails, and I have a lot of emails. So I'm going to go ahead and start this video by reading this short email to you, and then doing my best to answer it. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. It's a really good question, and I think maybe we can help this person. I will leave the person's name out of it, and the subject is advice to someone in the computer science to mathematics pipeline. Hello, math sorcerer. I come to you, as many have before, seeking advice. I'm a 20-year-old student about to begin my second semester in a bachelor's program in IT slash computer science. Like many other computer science students, I've developed a passion for mathematics, sparked by a discrete mathematics course in my first semester. Interesting. This newfound interest led me to work through your amazing Calc 2 course in about four days, tackling most of the problems. Wow. And I'm now starting your real analysis course to further challenge myself. However, I'm facing a dilemma. My university is heavily focused on applied fields and does not offer dedicated math programs. As a result, my access to advanced or theoretical mathematics courses is limited, and the ones available are largely computational in nature. I want to continue my degree here, but I'm considering enrolling in a single subject mathematics courses at another university a few hours away, if possible. Do you think it's possible to develop mathematical maturity, experience, and academic prereqs needed for a master's program in pure or possibly applied math through self-study and by taking these courses while pursuing my current degree? I want to keep this door open in case my love for math continues to grow. Some of my friends worry that this might lead to burnout or lower grades in my IT or computer science courses. Is this a realistic ambition or am I being overly optimistic? Thank you for your incredible content on YouTube and Udemy. I deeply appreciate your efforts and any advice you can offer in response to this admittedly lengthy message. Well, it was a little long, but I, I have longer ones, so, so I, need, I need to get to those. So I do have a lot of things to say about this particular subject because I have a lot of experience with this because I was you, right? I was a computer science major and for me it was Calc 2. When I first saw Infinite Series, I loved it. I thought, wow, I'm really good at this. I'm better than other people and everyone's lost and I'm getting it. So it made me feel like a little special. I felt like I was kind of smart, you know? Now fast forward to future classes and then <laughs> you know, my ego got crushed a little bit. But the point is that it's kind of cool that you're finding this love for mathematics even though you're doing computer science. So first let me just address your question about are you being overly optimistic? No. In life, when you want something, you have to really want it. And so I think what you're struggling with here is the same thing I was struggling with. Do you really want to do both or do you want to do just one? For me, I decided to just focus on math because I decided that when I would get my math degree, I would go teach. So I told myself, well, what good is all this computer science knowledge? You know, I'm just gonna focus on teaching. Looking back in hindsight, I mean, sure, it would have been better if I got a double major, right? That helps me, but it also would have taken me a longer time. 
I think you should do whatever you want to do. And I know your friends are telling you it's going to lead to burnout and stuff like that. Yes, it's going to take time away from you, but honestly, you should pursue what you love, right? And many people have a really hard time with math. The fact that you are actively seeking out mathematics is, is just amazing, right? Most people avoid math. They need help with math. They're just trying to get through their math classes. You're a computer science major who wants to switch to math, so you're in a different situation. And I think keep doing it. Keep taking those classes. Start with one and see what you think. Those theoretical classes in math are no joke, okay? When you take like a real analysis course, uh, that's no joke. Now you said you signed up for mine, which is really good. And you worked through my whole Calc 2 course in about four days, which is pretty epic. So I think that says something about your ability. So yeah, my advice is take those courses, take that course, take one, and see how it goes, right? See how you feel about that theoretical math course. Yes, you can be ready. So in order to get a master's in math, you basically have to take a bunch of classes, but to be ready for that, you want to know advanced calculus, topology, uh, real analysis, some complex variables, you know, just all those higher level subjects, abstract algebra. You want to have a solid understanding of you know, the core curriculum before you jump into a master's program. The master's level classes are much, much harder. Uh, there's, just, there's just no comparison between like a, a calculus class and like a first year real analysis measure theory class. Like there's just, <laughs> you just, I can't even put it into words how much harder it is. And you will get a taste of that when you start studying some real analysis. You said you started my course. My course covers about, I wanna say like 60 to 70% maybe of what's taught in a typical course. It focuses on, focuses on just some select topics, but it covers it well and there's no mistakes and there's assignments. So if you can get through that, uh, you're gonna probably be okay when you take real analysis. So yeah, that's my advice. And yeah, anyone else has advice for this person? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And check out my courses. The links are in the description. Check out my books. I have a bunch of books. Um, I'll leave links in the description. I have a ton of books, but these have been checked for errors. Super College Algebra 1, Super College Algebra 2. The best book ever. <laughs> this one can help you with anything. This can help you with your decision making, can help you with anything. It's called Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. Great book. And then this one, I just finished checking yesterday and it's just been revised. Actually, about 20 minutes ago, it's been, it's, it's been updated. So this is Calculus Alpha Limits for Math Super Nerds. It's just limits. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's a math book. Anyways, computer science is beautiful. It's great that you love discrete math. Uh, computers are amazing. Uh, I love computers and I think it's cool that you're studying that. But I also love mathematics, right? So yeah, I think you're gonna be okay no matter what you do. You've got the motivation, you're doing great. Uh, just a really positive email. Good luck to you.